Sometimes you got to get up, you know, but then you can feel like, okay, I'm going to rest here sometimes. Pick it back up, your hand, rest down. All right, that's a Joey D technique for sure. <laughs> and with the organ, because in most cases you're responsible for the left hand to play the bass as well as your foot, your right hand is doing the comping a lot, so you got a lot of stuff going on. So you're the rhythm section. You're taking care of two parts of the rhythm section on your own. Or you could play a whole lot of things with your right hand. You have to do something that's repetitious and slow so you can get to the point where it's comfortable to do it. Right? And even though you're going to play this over and over again, it won't matter. It's, it's going to be grooving so hard. You know, one of my biggest mottos is simple but effective. So it's just kind of like a, a vamp like this. It's in C. So you go from C to D flat. And then it goes like this, which brings you into three. The other thing I did too when I recorded this and that's the cool thing of having an instrument like this is I used a different voicing on the left hand for the bass where instead of, you know, how this repeats on a stock, you know, tone wheel organ anywhere from 1955 and above, on organs from the 30s, they went all the way down like this. So it gives you a little bit of a vibe when you want to play funky, you know. It, it, you're still playing that low octave with your foot, that's what you're hearing now. But when you add it in, it's got... So well, the organ has like unlimited things you can do with it sound-wise, you know. But um, sometimes you want to get into uh, some piano sounds, whether they be acoustic piano or electric pianos. You might want to get funky with a clavinet or maybe some other kind of bass sounds. And the fact that these newer instruments, modern instruments are MIDI, you could even control this keyboard from here and vice versa, so that's cool. But I wanna to talk to you about intros. You know, like something to do in front of a tune and having another sound source is very helpful for that. It's one of my favorite turnarounds. We have a whole section on term turnarounds that you could check out. And then this will let you help you work on your funk bass line too. See, that's what we use for the intro. 